I'll apply to law school. But I mean, it's gonna take a long time, Kenny, a really long time. And I mean, I might be 80 years old before I finally become a lawyer. And even then, I, I still don't know if I'm gonna find the answers. Hi, I'm Belinda Luscombe. I'm an editor at large at Time Magazine. Today, we are asking 10 questions of Hilary Swank, the star of the new movie, Conviction. Saad Javed wants to know, apart from a wider range of scripts offered and the bigger paychecks, how does winning two Oscars change things for an actress? Um, it's not really like, I, I don't really get paid more money, but I do get more opportunities to be involved in stories that are compelling, original, and challenging. Um, you know, conviction being right up there with one of the most challenging roles to date and um, a story that I really believe in. What if the DNA matches Kenny's? Get out. Get the hell out of my house right now! No. You gotta hear this. Even if you're the most amazing fighter, the most brilliant lawyer in the world, there are forces greater than you and you may not win. Do you think you haven't thought of that? No. You haven't. So you've portrayed numerous characters in your films. Which character's portrayal would you say has had the most lasting effect on you? You know, I mean, since I'm here talking about conviction, I'll say that, you know, this movie um, too has, has done something for me twofold. One is it reminds me of what's important in life, which is family, and the importance of, of you know, loving that person in your life, whether it's your parents, your children, your significant other, your partner, whatever, whoever that is to you, um, like it, it's the last day of your life um, because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. And then also the fact that this movie shines a bright light on um, a very flawed judicial system in, in, in the United States. Having done so many intense and serious roles throughout your career, will we be able to see you doing an out and out comedy role in the future? Good question. Um, I took P.S. I Love You thinking that it was going to be, you know, real f funny. And I ended up, you know, crying every day on that film. Um, it was one of the more difficult dramas I have done, and it wasn't even a full drama. Um, so I, I would, I really, I love the laugh. I love comedies. Um, I think um, in my real life, I'm not too much of a dramatic person. So I think it would be fun to show that side of myself. And um, I just have to find a good comedy because they are few and far between for women. Barry Van M. Bloomfield would like to know how it was to work with Clint Eastwood. Working with Clint was one of the highlights of my career and um, you know I think are, are, is one of the experiences that will be very tough to beat. He's very low-key as a director. Very very low-key um, and you know Clint has that belief in the people around him. He says you know I hire who I think is right for the role and I just know that they're going to do their thing and I just try and get out of the way kind of is what he says and you know it's um yet he also is really gentle in his direction and um obviously extraordinarily talented in and every field that he jumps into it's annoying really because he's the music and the, the I know acting. I know and then the acting and, and he's the really still a great looking guy I know like, and then all that I know <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> Jody DeFalco of Dallas Texas read that you dropped out of high school and she asked, nowadays when so many college grads can't even find a job, do you think education is important? And would you encourage someone to finish school even if they got an opportunity like you did? And she further asked, do you think you would ever get a high school diploma or maybe go to college? Um, well, I do have my GED. Um, I did leave um, high school my freshman, uh, sorry, my sophomore year, but I got my GED. So I do have my diploma. I guess it's kind of a diploma of sorts. Um, I, I wouldn't ever recommend not going to school. I would, um, I think it's case by case. I mean, if someone gets a call from Clint Eastwood, can you leave junior, you know, high school to be in my movie? I would say maybe you should if, if you want to be an actor. But um, then I don't recommend, you know, not going back. And I, I take classes when I can. Um, I love to learn. Um, I think part of uh, being able to be an actor is having experiences and learning. Um, but I, I think it's what's really important in life is not just to have a, um, a diploma and, 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 and go to school, but also to travel, to see the world, to experience life. 
because I think you can have school, but if you don't have, you know, your logic skills and your people skills, I think it's, I think they go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm certainly not very book smart, but um, I, I've had a lot of life experience and I've started traveling the world at, you know, 16. And um, I could probably name the places I haven't been easier than the places I have. Um, you know, so I am grateful for those opportunities and I think it's enriched me in ways that I could never uh, begin to even explain. So not popping off to Harvard anytime soon then? No, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I'd get in. <laughs> I'm not so sure. <laughs> Hilary Swank, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. But you just have to promise me. You just have to. That you won't ever try to kill yourself ever. If you do, 